Hello. I thought I uh, would do a different type of video where it's not just sealing wax. I do more than just that. I do all types of art. Like, this is a digital piece that I've done online of me as a Squishmallow. Um, right now, I am just making some cards. Maybe I'll make a stamp for this one, but I, I'm just kind of showing you what I uh what else i could do so right now i'm just decorating the the outside with some ink and uh i, I use a makeup brush because it spreads the ink a little bit more and i'm just kind of dusting this just to give it like a pop of color So it's not just white. I'm gonna try to not get my face here because my face is supposed to be white. But if I do, it's that's fine. And this is just cardstock paper. The really thick kind of cardstock. So I'm going to be doing this and then I will show you the finished project once it's done. So far, that's what I got done so far. Um, I may do uh, something else. Um, maybe, maybe add a little bit of green to the tips here. I did this before and I thought it was really good. Just like a little bit of green. A little bit of green. Make it all blend. If I go off camera, I'm sorry. Do some over here, do some over here, and yeah, that should do it. I'm gonna let this dry and then come right back to it. So the one I made on camera uh, has to dry for a few hours, honestly, because I let it sit for a few minutes and it's still kind of wet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one that I did before and I'm going to fold it on the lines here and get it all <laughs> get all the things scorned so i can fold this a little bit more effectively and for people who want to know what i use to help me fold my lines i do have a cutter and line the uh, scorn line thing to help me with my straight lines and really it's just this and gotta make sure it's the right one because that even though the thing is gone uh this is the scoring one that is the cutting one and i've almost cut with the scorner thinking it was the cutter or vice versa now if you don't get it just right that is fine as long as it's with the the scorning one because then you can just go over it and then you get that folded up and then you have a little flat for what type of art i tend to do the one i do mostly is traditional art so markers paints um, uh, I almost did it again. Um, markers, paints, colored pencils, stuff like that. 
I will do digital art from time to time. I'm still learning. So if you have any examples of how to get um, going with doing more digital art and stuff like that, let me know because I do want to keep on doing that more often because it is a bit easier to get like pictures done faster. But my quality when it comes to digital stuff is a little bit, I wouldn't say lackluster, but it's a little bit, you can tell the difference between my digital and my traditional. I'm going to do it this way. And I printed out a template. I like used um, Photoshop or uh, actually I used Fire Alpaca to get this template of an envelope printed onto this piece of paper. I like made it transparent and um, so I could barely see the lines of where I need to cut and where I need to scorn or fold. And so I can see it, but when I go over it with like paints or markers or whatever, the uh, people don't see it. I mean, some people might not care that they see fold lines and stuff like that, but eh. But yeah, I do all types of arts. Anything that's artsy fartsy, I tend to do. I do a lot of crafting too. I guess it's because I've done so much traditional art that my digital art kind of just went... I started off with digital online. I started with paint, like old school paint. Something I learned, freaking paint, starting uh, in the Windows 11, is getting layers, finally. Me trying to find a program that was like paint that has layers. That's how I stumbled onto Fire Alpaca, because it's easier. And now it's just like, oh yeah, by the way, finally, paint's going to have layers. I was happy and angry at the same time because <sighs> I know a lot of people have Windows 11 but not everyone does and I okay what I'm going to do next is I'm going to glue this up or tape it up and make it look like an envelope let's play a game where Nair forgets to turn on the music I'll probably have to figure out a uh, video capture program where I can put my music in so I don't have to have the music play in the background while um, I do things because then I have to worry about ads and shit. Now I don't think YouTube would like it or the companies would like it if I had their ad playing in the background because it's just like, oh, that's, that's copyrighted. There. I'm sure that will hold. But then I'm going to add a little stamp that I've this is something I also made this is like a signature stamp that I thought was kind of cool and then you it's like one of those clinger stamps you just put it on a thing of acrylic and then you take your ink pad or you can do it vice versa get it all saturated And then we will put it right there. There. And there we go. We have I have a 
envelope to send to people who buy my art. I do have commissions open, like my my digital and traditional art. Uh, usually my traditional art is only like a digital thing. I'll only like take a photo of it and then send it to you. And then you can use it as whatever you want to use it for. But if you wanted the physical copy of a traditional piece, you would probably have to pay shipping for it. Because if I send it to you, I have to send it through the mail and shipping is kind of a lot. And I want to make sure that when it gets there, I use the right mailing thing so it gets there in great condition so it's not all bend and shit. And that costs money. Because I don't want you paying all this money for a traditional piece which would be more expensive. Because I gotta pay for markers and all that stuff. And then it'll all be all bent and shit and all smudged and all this shit. No one wants that. But, yeah. I will... Um... I have... Discord. I have DeviantArt. I have Twitter. So, hit me up on any of those. Uh, my Twitter is, sadly, 18+. plus. So... Um, only follow me if you're over 18. That's why I make these videos not for kids. So it's not marketed towards kids at all. But yeah. That's, uh, me making my own envelope. Look at me. Look at... I'm spherical!